No, 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 no. Well, apparently, um, Stephen Moffat has come forward, and he has kind of, um, how to put this nicely? Well, here, I'll just read what it says. We can all breathe a sigh of relief now. Stephen Moffat has decided to set the record straight on the Doctor Who movie and flat out rubbishes everything David Yates has talked about. Moffat said on Twitter today, to clarify... Any Doctor Who movie would be made by the BBC team, star the current TV Doctor, and certainly not be a Hollywood reboot. Yes. <sighs> Moffat then added, David Yates, great director, was speaking off the, cuff, off the cuff on a red carpet. You've seen the rubbish I talk when I'm cornered. Moffat elaborated, Doctor Who is a... Is a vitally important BBC brand with a huge international audience that not even Hollywood can start from scratch. There simply are no developed plans for a Doctor Who movie at the moment. If and when the movie happens, it will need the, it will need to star television's Doctor Who. And there's only ever one of those at a time. Whatever happens, he continues, the BBC and BBC Worldwide We'll work together to ensure that we don't just get a movie. We get the movie that everyone wants. So that's the end of that for now. Though the question remains, will David Yates have anything to do with a movie if it gets made? Or is he just delusional? Um, only time will tell. Ha ha. You know, I just... I think it's kind of funny that this guy... David that David Yates just kind of goes, oh yeah, we're gonna make a Doctor Who movie, as if people wouldn't panic. I mean, okay, the smallest rumor starts, and people panic. Did he not know this was going to happen, and he was going to get into some trouble? Well, maybe he did know. Maybe he wanted to plant the seed of an idea. I don't know. But I can I can almost guarantee you that when that happened, when he said that, the BBC, Stephen Moffat, Matt Smith, and everyone else took a collective shit. <laughs> <laughs> they went, what? Oh, oh. <laughs> that was Matt the noise I made. Yeah, that wasn't <laughs> any animal mating calls or anything. So, <laughs> as far as I know. Everyone's sitting there thinking, okay, movies take months and months and months to do. There's no way we can do a movie and Doctor Who, like, television at the same time. And Matt's just kind of going, no, I am not staying in Cardiff. No, no. <laughs> I mean, he has to stay there nine months out of the year. Well, I mean, in Europe's pretty small. You can go from, like, crap central to Italy in less than a few hours. So that's not too bad. Well, you know, he basically, he, he's actually gone on record um, and said that he basically does not have a life. He goes to work, he comes home, and he research, or he does his lines. Then the next day, he goes to work, he comes home, and he very rarely gets an off day. And when he does get an off day, he's watching TV. That is his... <laughs> Vacation. I wonder if he's a cat man or a dog man. I don't know. We need to get him on the show, don't we? We do. We really, really do. So uh, anyone out there from the BBC or just in case, Mr. Smith, if you are listening. <clears throat> we want to ask you some curly questions. And, you know, there is rumor that Doctor Who will be filmed in Australia and... Uh, <laughs> As it so happens. Well, <laughs> we'll see. Because I know I've got one, one certain ever. little girl that if he ever comes to Brisbane, I'm going to be dragged kicking and screaming to go and see him if he ever comes to Brisbane. Either that or you'll be the one doing the dragging and she'll be the one kicking and screaming. Oh, no, no, no. She'd be dragging me. As it is, I mean, Australia's getting a big Doctor Who hit next year. They're actually... You, I don't know whether you've seen 
the um, orchestral thing that they did a few years ago with the Doctor Who people. And they actually brought out the monsters and, like, all that, and they had the orchestra playing the music from Doctor Who and Mm -hmm. had the characters. They're bringing that to Melbourne. Mm. But they're not taking it anywhere else around Australia. They're only doing Melbourne. And unfortunately for the kiddo, Hubby's already going to Melbourne around the same time, and going to Melbourne's kind of expensive because Melbourne's expensive. It, ugh, it's like New York. You know, you, you sort of, if you did the same thing anywhere else in Australia, it'd be like a third the price. But because it's in Melbourne, it's like, ugh, insane prices. So this happens to fall around the time that he's taking a trip to Melbourne, and she's shit out of luck. And she's not happy. I wouldn't be. Well, I'd like to go too, but unfortunately, you know, we're not made out of money. No. You're made out of love. Oh, thank you. So are you. <laughs> there you go. That's, that, that's the end of my Christmas spirit right there. There ain't none left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wasted it all on one little lie. Oh, That's not a lie. <laughs> Ugh. Hey, I'm just surprised that you made it through that with a straight face. There's no cam on, there's no proof. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then your voice didn't crack once. I am very, very impressed. <sighs> okay, so we're about 40 minutes through at the moment. Can you believe that? We've been crapping on that long. So I reckon. Seriously? Seriously, we're nearly at the end of the show. So I reckon we pick our favorite stories. So you get to pick one, and I'll pick one, and we'll just keep going till the end. Okay, let's see. Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. All right, so I think I'll pick this one first. Um, I actually heard this one on the news this morning, and luckily it wasn't a Louisiana thing. No, it's a... Uh, from North Carolina, which reminds me, actually, really quick. Um, for the past couple of weeks, we have been promising that we would not give a shout-out to, Al- to Alyssa. So whatever we do, Belinda, we cannot, under any circumstances, give a shout-out to Alyssa. Yes, so this is us not giving a shout-out to Alyssa at all, ever. Exactly. Yes, we're not doing that. No, we, no. we will not give out... Shout outs to people that don't want them. Anyway. <laughs> and I lost the game. Boy nine suspended for reportedly calling teacher cute. A nine year old boy was suspended from school for two days for sexual harassment last week after he called his teacher cute, his mother says. Oh dear God. Chiquita Lockett of Gastonia, North Carolina told WSOC TV of Charlotte, North Carolina which first reported the story that her nine-year-old son, oh, God, Emania, shouldn't have been sent home from Brookside Elementary School. What? Mm, Yeah, Emania. Emania. Emania and Chiquita. It's not like he went up to the woman and tried to grab her or touch her in a sexual way, Lockett told WSOC. So why would he be suspended for two days? The Gaston County School District said it couldn't discuss the incident beyond beyond confirming that Emania was suspended for inappropriate behavior after making inappropriate statements. Okay, number one, he's a nine-year-old boy. Number two, tell me what boy did not have a crush on at least one of their teachers in school. I don't know. I'm not a boy. (sighs) That's not the point, Belinda. I don't know. I don't usually talk to boys. I mean, I've got a husband, but that's beside the point. (laughs) And you don't usually talk to boys. (laughs) No. I'm a good wife. I don't talk to boys. Um, Mm. Yeah. Including him. (laughs) (laughs) Well, it depends on how grumpy he is. But, yeah. Um, Okay, so that one's a little extreme. You know. A little bit. Maybe there was, like, a a hand gesture that went with it. Maybe he, like, pretended to grab her boobies. I don't know. I mean, really, 
calling someone cute is generally considered, um, you know, not an insult, let alone no. sexual harassment? Mm, okay, my turn. 